Hello, hello. This is Morten Knudsen from Denmark. I'm a Microsoft MVP and I would like to show you a little PowerShell module that I have made. It's called AC Resource Graph PS. And uh, this is just a, sh a small demo that will show you some of the features that you can get with this. So the primary goal for the module is to unleash the power of the Azure Resource Graph. Um, I think this is a hidden treasure inside Azure that more people should know. And uh, I'm using it very much uh, almost every day. And uh, let me show you what I built to help the community. So. First of all, here you will see that uh, it will allow us to uh, automatically check if there are any updates available for the module. And so basically I'm just running it and it will show that I'm running on the latest version of both AC Resource Graph and AC Resource Graph PS. So, the next uh, I want to show you is uh, doing the uh, showing the queries that are available. So the goal for this is to both be able to run custom queries against a resource graph, but also to leverage a lot of built-in queries that I have integrated into this. So as you can see here. I'm running this in interactive mode now, where I want to show all the built-in queries. And in here, you can see that there are a lot of different built-in queries uh, inside here. And all of these queries are manageable by me. So the whole community can just upload these queries if they have any ideas, and I'll incorporate them or they can send me an email or how they want to do it. And as you can see, I'm, I'm also putting in some categories and I'm also giving credit to the people that made the queries. Um, so right now I have more than a hundred queries and I will include lots more uh, later on. So if we go here, and find a, a query and just choose uh, and choose the query and press the enter button. As I'm right now in um, a query, uh, show query only mode, it will come up and say to me here, what is the name of the query that are pre-built? How can I run it in, a, in an automatic mode? What is the syntax for that? And at the very bottom, it will also show the query. So this can help uh, anyone that are uncertain about what is going on inside the query to be able to show the, the query before they actually run it. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but now I'm going to actually run the query. So I'm going to run this command. And as you can see, the same uh, comes up. And I go down and choose query, press the enter button. And now it's actually running the query against my environment and returning the actual uh, data from my environment. As you can see here, if I go in and scroll up a little bit, right now, this is the query. Oops, sorry. This is the query that I chose. And you can see that the name of the query, how can I run it in automatic mode? What is the scope of this uh, query? Right now I chose not to define it, so by default it's running against the tenant. You can see here that it's running with a service principle. So I have uh, actually logged in with an Azure app and, and, and running under that context. And at the bottom you can see the actual uh, uh, command or query it, it runs. You can see the number of records uh, it uh, it received and how long time did it take to actually enumerate all these records. So this is an example of how to do this. 
if I want to see and run it with my credentials, I can go in and disconnect my login uh, here. So now I've disconnected my service principal. And if I try to run the command again uh, here, uh, it will come up and prompt me uh, for my credentials. And if I choose here, I can log in. And then after the login has uh, completed successfully, it will come up showing all the queries that are available and I'm able to uh, run uh, the query that I want. So let's go down, choose the IP address here, and you can see now it runs. And if I scroll up, you can see that the context that I'm running under is under my account that I just logged in with. So this is how to run this command using an interactive node. I can also, if I want to automate this through scripting, I can put in the name of the query in front of the command and run it. And it will come back and do the actual query and return the result for me. So this is a good way for me to do some scripting. Of course, I can also, instead of piping the result to the screen, I can pipe it into a variable and which I can then use. And if I run this command again, now you can see that, that it has the, the actual data inside this uh, variable called result. And, uh, and because I typed the, uh, res the result out there. Another example, instead of going through a tenant, I can also do a query against the uh, a management group. So now I'm going to run this and it will throw me an error because I'm missing the target of the uh, management group name. So if I run it, it will come out saying you need to define the target, uh, which is the management group name. So now I'm going to run the same command again with the target and uh, it will run. And now I do have the result uh, are piped into uh, the result here. So another example that I have built is, let's say that I want to uh, enumerate all the resource groups uh, from the entire tenant. I can do that. And <clears throat> we'll see here it returns 88 uh, resource groups that are available. So I have a new parameter here called first three. So if I just want to see the first three records, it will just return, of course, the first three records here. And again, let's say that I want to skip the f first five records and then re return the result. Now it should, we had 88 and I want to skip the five. So it should now show 83. And you can see here now it has returned 83 records. And if I go in here, <clears throat> uh, I can see the result of the 83 records. I also have made support for running custom queries. So instead of using the pre-built query, you can also run a custom query. And uh, let's do that. And you can see it will return uh, and run it. As I mentioned before, I also have the capability of logging in through an app. So this is an example where I'm providing app credentials and I want to return just the first five records of the resource groups. So it will now disconnect uh, and it will run. <clears throat> and if I scroll up a little bit, you can see that the context has now changed to 760, which is equal to the app ID. Lastly, I want to show uh, how to do this with role assignments. So as you have provided that capability, I can now run a query which returns the entire uh, set of role assignments. As you can see here, 558, that is the number of role assignments. But what I want to do now is 
take the result a little further because what you can see here is I'm lacking the dis display name. So I only have the object ID of the um, the, uh, the uh, principle that are in here. And the principle can either be a group, it can be a user or a service principle. So now I'm gonna use another tool or PowerShell module that I have built which will allow me to get the data from a graph uh, and AD, Azure AD or Entra ID, and it will allow me to, to do some uh, enrichment of the data. And this is the code that I built to do that. So let's try to run it. <clears throat> so basically, it's connecting now, getting all the metadata from Entra ID getting uh, all the groups, the service principle, the users, and now it's enriching all the RBAC assignments with a display name. And now when it's done, we can now see here that the role assignment display name has been added uh, for all the records. So this is, and, and to wrap it all together, this is an example where it runs fully unattended in fully automated mode. It's doing the same things, but instead of going through the steps, it will actually allow me to do all the steps in, in one step. So it's getting all the RBAC data. Now it's running against the entire tenant and before it was running just on a specific management group. It's enriching all the data. Um, and, uh, and you can see it took about 1.1 second to retrieve the RBAC assignment, which is very fast compared to if you wanna enumerate all the data. And you can see the result is back and everything is uh, shown and uh, that's it.